Hey, hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick. Today we're going to be learning how to add text to our rugged case here. This was a request in the comments from my last text video. And so I decided let's go ahead and do that real fast. It's pretty simple. So let's get right to it. So the first thing that we want to do is jump over to our objects tab so we can see all of the models in our project. Click on your model. We're going to add text to this, but first, Let's go ahead and rotate it on the keyboard. We're gonna rotate it 180 degrees. And then let's go ahead and place some text. T on the keyboard or push this button up here at the top. Now I like this steel text as you, uh, if you watch my last video, I like to use it it's super clean text. So we're gonna use this. I'm just gonna say uh, rugged case. That's gonna be the name that we use. It's gonna kind of center it right here. Oh, and we're going to do one other thing. We're going to learn how to, we're going to mirror the text too, because that was another question somebody asked how to mirror your text. Next thing, let's go ahead and change the color. I'm going to change it to this gray. So four on the keyboard and then thickness. Let's just give it a one for now. Now, when you're doing a case like this, um, you need to make sure your depth. Let me go back. Oops. That was not what I wanted to do. Click here, click on your text. If you go out, you just click on your text here and then click on this. Obviously for your depth, which is going to be how deep your text goes. Uh, if it's, so if I put this to like three, yeah. So if I put this to three, the text is actually coming all the way through the case. So just make sure you don't do that obviously. And then, so the next thing, just change it back to two or uh, you can adjust it to whatever you like. As long as you're not going through the other side of the case, you'll be fine. So embed depth of two is good. Now we change this to modifier, right? So now it is a modifier. Let's go ahead and slice it. So the funny thing is <laughs> if I slice it, there's no text, right? So what you got to do is let's go back to prepare. Let's go ahead, get out of the text, select our entire model. So if we select our entire model, it's going to select the box and the shape. Let's go ahead and rotate it 180 degrees again, right? So now it's upside down, right? And if we slice, you can see our text is now there. Don't know if that's a bug, but since someone asked me in the uh, comments, pretty sure that's probably why, but that's how you do it. You can, you don't have to flip the, well, it looks like it's coming through at the top too. And the way to fix that would be to go into here, select our text, um, go into here and change this to like 1.5 millimeters, reslice it. Oh, it looks like it's still wanting to come through. Let's just change it to one, one millimeter. One millimeter should be perfectly fine too as well. So yeah, there we go. Still got probably, let's see, one layer, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you still get 10 layers of text depth. It's perfectly fine on one millimeter. And now it's not coming out through the top. But that is how you do it. And the next thing was somebody asked how to mirror your text and it's pretty actually easy. Right click here, mirror along Y axis, whatever axis you want. And you can literally mirror your text. So that's how you do that. All right. Well, that was a quick and easy tutorial. Hopefully I didn't blab too much. I hope you learned something from this. I hope you're having a great day. And as always, Happy printing.